Hello everyone and welcome back to For the Minions, the weekly show where we try and update you on the progress of some of these Paragon successors out there. I'm your host, the one and only Mangoose. Joining me as always is Big Sexy Mandy Mal. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I am, you know, big and sexy and uh, <laughs> I'm happy to introduce our guest host this week is Devil Spawn. Devil Spawn, thank you so much for being with us. How are you? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, I really have loved your show uh, for the minions. So I was like, I, and since he announced um, that anyone could be a special guest, I was like, hey, why don't I, uh, you know, try and be on the show? So heck yeah, that's exactly what we want. We want anybody and everybody. This is a show <laughs> for the community. So the community in here, we need to get everybody's point of view here, right? Absolutely. Right? So, so why spawn- don't you? Um, oh, why don't you oh. listen to Mandy while she goes ahead <laughs> before I jump all over since, here? Okay. Since you've seen the show, you know the uh, you know the the deal. You tell us your favorite uh, Paragon hero, how you got started, all that good stuff. Um. Well, so my friends, like week one, day one, got into the game, and then about a week later, I was like, I have to play this game. All my friends are playing it, so I got in the game really early. Um, I was playing on Legacy, Alpha Legacy. Um, then it changed. Uh, we had the you know the orb drop, um, and then they got rid of the orb drop, monolith, and all that stuff. Um, favorite hero always has been Steel. I re- I've always loved the um, initiating power of Steel, um, and a lot of people thought I couldn't play Steel anymore after the after his ult got reworked to smaller. And then literally the first uh, game I played as him, I did a three-person ult to steal. <laughs> so, and that was all game. That was great. Um, and then in my competitive, my little bit of competitive scene, I was the ADC for um, one of Hardwired's off teams. So, Right on, man. It's oh, always good to see uh, people with that level of experience where you actually played in competitive. You actually played in the uh, PCL, right? Yeah. I did a uh, one minor. Um, it was like their. It wasn't. It was their one of their lower tier tournaments where mm-hmm. everyone's not like, oh my gosh, we're the best players. <laughs> like you know, it's the lower tier people. So, right on. Very cool. The only experience I'll ever have with professional play is watching it. <laughs> <laughs> watching professional play is amazing. Yeah, I would love it- to be a commentator. When you see people pull off things that is obviously rehearsed, like certain combos and setups for those combos, it's really great to see. And you you oh, wish yeah. you could do that kind of stuff in your yeah. games, but you're playing with a bunch of right. randos. You're not going to <laughs> do that stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's uh let's let's move on to the news and updates. We actually do have some news and updates for you this week. Uh <sighs> Uh, big news coming out of Ethereal. They started uploading voice lines to their YouTube channel in preparation for um, updating their website and all kinds of other stuff that's going on. Like we said last week, a lot of stuff is coming together for Ethereal. And part of that is these voice lines that are getting uploaded. They did uh, Aran, Talos, Marina, and Noxus. We've already seen a little bit of Noxus's lines, but um, we've seen a lot more of them. So let's go ahead. We're going to pause full screen this, and uh, I'll select just a couple of the voice lines from each. No one will survive my wrath, except for dogs. Dogs can live. Extend your hand for mercy so I can rip it off. Each emotion shines on its own. Love, fear, hate. They are all equals in the eyes of Mara. I've seen all this happen before. Some in dreams, some in thoughts. But it always ends the same. Strike me down, and I will rise again. An endless cycle I will endure to drive back the darkness. Oops, I hope I didn't short anything out. With water, the power of light is multiplied. Be more careful, Kalia. Yes, Talos. Water, good. I don't think he understands. Hurricane Marina. Don't know what it does. Don't need to. Too many things on it. Pointy. 
I like. Your neck will meet my axe. I'm a big fan of shields. They're really something I can get behind. Where were you when my people were burning, shield bearer? They... they all deserved it. You made me do this! Tastes like home. Such fond memories. Kill the invaders before they come close. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed those voice lines. Um, interestingly enough, those... Each myth in Ethereal has over 200 voice lines, so if they did every single voice line, it would be like like half an hour video so they didn't want to do that they just selected certain ones for you guys also there's they said that there's kind of spoilers in some of the voice lines so uh they didn't want to release all of that yet as you can see like they have yeah just having oh, 90 so seconds much. is insane for each person so yeah right it was that's 90 seconds more than paragon had so. <laughs> right <laughs> oh. I think they did a good job, too, of um, setting the tone for what we can kind of expect these heroes to sound like. And uh, I really enjoyed the um, interactions between the two. Like mm -hmm. when they would say a voice line to another character, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's going to be so cool in game and like and figuring also, out the lore behind it and their yeah. stories. And that, and that uh, same thing with like a uh, League, for example, League does really well with how the characters interact. So we can bring that kind of example into the game. So yeah. So. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, favorite. Who is your favorite of all, of all the voice lines, uh, Devils? Devils. Um, in? probably uh, Talos. I really liked yeah. the mood they were setting for him. Um, so I really like him. What about you, Mandy? Probably Marina. She was just adorable yeah, <laughs> and um uh, they haven't released their lore yet all all of their lore when their website drops all of the lore is going to be there but i will tell you that nice. marina's voice lines match her lore a lot she's supposed to be kind of young curious and adventurous and uh i think they really captured that with her voice lines and that's that's a good theme for it they, they really capture the lore of each hero in these voice lines um the lore and the appearance and everything like Aron just being a Edge Lord badass and <laughs> yeah. and tell us being you know kind of good like a yeah. good brawny sort of dude and apparently he's kind of dumb as <laughs> if you listen to Rita's <laughs> Rita's voice lines okay. water good <laughs> wow <laughs> but uh uh and another thing that happened with uh, Ethereal this week uh they kind of had an impromptu community corner Q and A session I don't know what you want to call it um. I started a voice chat party in their Discord. I just, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I just hopped in the voice chat and waited for somebody to show up. And then I messaged Owen. And I was like, hey, man, get in here. And <laughs> Owen showed up. And then Kai showed up. And Noxus oh. showed up. And Tricolor Star showed up. And then, you know, community members started coming in. And it, it turned into a bit of a community corner. Um, wow. I picked a few of the questions and answers out here that I thought were interesting that I'll share on, uh, on For the Minions here. Um, I'll do the whole thing in its own video if you will, if you care to see all the questions that got, that got answered during that weird little session. But they do plan. Um, well, they said that they would like to do more of those. So hopefully that does that is something that can happen in the future, and you can hop into their Discord and ask them whatever you want because that's what they that's exactly what they were doing, just taking questions from every anybody and everybody. And the people that were too that's shy cool. to talk were just yeah. typing them out, and they were still answering them. So that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, as far as the questions go, there was, um, will there be multiple pre-alpha packages available and will there be founder benefits? Um, so yes, uh, we've talked about this before, pre-alpha access, they plan to have uh, somewhere around $20 buy-in for their pre-alpha access, but apparently that um, they're going to have even more packs that you can get and upgrade, so they didn't say, you know, what would be included in those packs. I mean, I can assume skins and myths and yeah. whatever, so... Um, it isn't just the twenty dollar one. You can get like a founders pack, like a high tier founders pack, and get everything nice. for the game. So that's that's good to know. That's 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 something I I did not know. I was not aware of. Uh, any thoughts on the uh, founders pack, guys? Uh, it's very cool. Uh, Paragon did it, so I'm assuming that the others will follow suit. I think League, when League was like brand new, they did one too. So, uh, 
Yep. It's it's a good marketing strategy for the way they build their game. So the full, full release of the game will still be free to play. It's just the the pretty alpha that's going to be paid paid <laughs> right. access. Right. Yeah, I think uh, like uh, Devil Spawn said, it's a good uh, marketing thing. Get get um kind of the the people who are gonna be the most interested because obviously you have to be pretty interested to pay to to play the game in the <laughs> right. beginning get them to get in there in that kind of alpha access and really probably get really valuable feedback that way too i would i would assume um, it's, it's good server testing too mm, to really mm. see how their uh servers can handle point. that amount of players they so have uh, less players than the free they talked about that as well. They were saying that when the alpha does launch, you know, it'll only be up for a, you know a few days or a week or something like that, and then they'll bring it down for updates. And um, right. if things go well, you know, they they they're playing two thousand slots for the pre-alpha, but okay. if things go well, they they may add more slots as time goes on. So mm-hmm. that's something that they're looking at, and also depends, you know, on the popularity of the game. If there are more than two thousand people that want to play. <laughs> I'm sure there are right now. Uh, I'm <laughs> sure there are. are. <laughs> and then um, another question that I answered, how will skins be distributed? Will more skins be made available for more popular myths? Uh, we saw this a lot in Paragon. Um, some oh, heroes got yeah. skin after skin after awesome skin, and the other ones like um, Devil Spawn and I were talking about this earlier. Decker <laughs> kind of got left behind. <laughs> she, right? She didn't have any transformative skins at all. They were all sort of recolors, but... uh. Yeah. Their their answer was um, they will do their best not to leave anyone behind. Um, this is mainly coming from Noxus, their uh, their lore lead, and they have personally experiencing what their favorite characters in games only ever receive one skin, and they don't want that to happen in Ethereal. And they also plan for each skin to be unique and not just a simple color change. Uh, nice. They believe that if you pay for a skin, it should be a true change to the character's appearance. So. Nice. I'm sure there so will be color variances to the skins, but if you pay for a skin, you're getting that skin and all the colors that come with it. You're not going to have to pay for colors. Oh, that's cool. That's amazing. That's cool. You no, know, like amazing. loot box kind of, you know, gambling, yeah. gambling for different variants. Yeah, I did that. But. Yeah, that was awesome when you also <laughs> you got a variant color for a hero you didn't play. It's like, oh, thanks, the yeah. loot box. Yeah. The only problem with that is when you got the variant um, that took that thing out of it, out of so you would get like more of the keys, more of the, you know, yeah, the stuff you didn't want. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's another thing they addressed. Uh, no loot boxes in Ethereal. They will, they absolutely hate loot boxes. They will not have mm. loot boxes in Ethereal. Um, let's see, da, 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 another another interesting one, uh, what has been happening with the fan submitted myth ideas, if you guys didn't know in their Discord, they have a special tab, if you have ideas for heroes for their game, then you can go to the, the myth ideas tab and submit your own ideas. Um, they said that while they do look at them, they do check them out, uh, they haven't been officially reviewed yet, and, um, they will start looking more into it once the game is in beta, and once the game is in beta... They will be having a contest to pick one um, and include the community in that. It'll be like a community-driven contest, and somebody will win and get their myth into the game, but uh, do expect that they will contact you and that you will be working with them on that myth. It's not awesome. just, uh, you know, drop it in there and, and walk away. You're, you, you'll be expected to balance things, so don't be trying to create some crazy overpowered myth, drop it in there, and expect to just win and walk <laughs> away, and, and, and walk away from the game. They're going to they're going to hit you up. <laughs> so, cool. I thought that was very cool. Very nice to that see them doing. so cool. Yeah. Mandy, do you have any ideas for a myth? I know no, you, I, I am know definitely you not creative <laughs> enough. I just, uh, I don't know. Give me like a cowgirl. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that actually brings up a good point. You could create a ash type myth from Overwatch that has yeah. the mech mm-hmm. type protector if you wanted to go that Ooh. route <gasps> a cowgirl with a mech <laughs> a cowgirl with a mech yes. uh oh no made is excited <laughs> yes and uh let's see the last one we'll go over on the show tonight um will they have more monster type myths instead of all humanoid that was a gripe a lot of people had about paragons everything everyone was sort of humanoid um except maybe again scorch but um, they said, yes, Nikolai and Grognark are already examples of that. Nikolai being very, very small. 
Myth and Grognark being very large, and he's going to be quadrupedal. He's going to walk around on all fours. So that's that's very cool to see because um, you know it's a fantasy game, and right. we, wanted, we want fantasy creatures in that game to play with. So we'll be getting them. Um, I'm a little interested to see how they balance that. Like with Nikolai being small, it brings nightmares of no odd job and golden eye. <laughs> Where and also just like hard the to hit. Speed, yeah. You have to like. Hitbox. You'd have to make Nikolai's overall movement speed probably a little faster if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah. yeah. Takes him longer to get across. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine walking to lane and Nikolai's just steadily behind you, getting further yeah. and further away. And he's, and he's just waddling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Nikolai. Aww. Ron just comes along and steps on him. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be it for Ethereal. Unless you guys had any final thoughts or anything you wanted to discuss, Devil Spawn. I'm really excited for it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right. Same. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on now to Omega Studios with predecessor. Um, kind of bad news for them. Uh, Patrick Pony is leaving the team. He was their sound designer. Um. It wasn't like a falling out or anything like that. There's no bad blood there. He just, he had a lot of stuff going on in life. Um, and a lot of these people aren't getting paid, <laughs> paid to devote so much of their life towards creating a game. And it was just too much for, for, for him. He had to move on and, and do some other things in life. So, um, it'll be, be, it's sad to see Patrick Pony go, but like I said, it's not bad blood or anything. He's just leaving of his own accord. And uh, they already kind of have somebody that they're training up to, to fill his spot. And uh, probably the, the best news out of all this, the, the silver lining here, is Patrick has already done all the sound design work that needs to be done for the alpha. So there's no, there, it's not going to slow the progress on their alpha release down with Patrick leaving. So, um, yeah, any, any thoughts on that, guys? Uh, I like that the it's already done. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's sad to see Patrick go, man. I'm gonna gonna miss his streams and him uh, dicking with Smokey so much in his <laughs> exactly his Smokey streams. So Patrick was probably the biggest smartass out of all of them. It'll be uh, <laughs> he really was. Sad to see yeah, that go. <laughs> yeah. So maybe down the line, if uh, if uh, stuff slows down for him in his personal life, he can yeah jump back in if they you know, need maintenance and I'm stuff. I'm sure he'll be hopping in their Discord from time to time to troll the shit out of people just like he always used yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Fringe will be incorporating more Monolith-style jungle assets into the game. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how the fan base is going to feel about this either. A lot of people were um, drawn to Predecessor because it relied more on the um, legacy-style... Okay. Uh, not just map, but the artwork. A lot of people enjoyed the legacy artwork. I always thought the monolith assets looked cleaner and a little better, but that right. may not necessarily be what you want. Like the legacy assets weren't supposed to look clean. They're supposed to look a little rotten and decrepit. And I thought that was kind of cool. So I don't know. I don't know what, what people will think of this. We'll, um, we'll have to see. Uh, Mandy, what do you think about monolith assets on a legacy map, even though you never really played legacy? Yeah, I don't unfortunately have the experience on Legacy. Um, I mean, I got a taste of it from the alpha and I can definitely see the difference. I, just like you said, always thought Monolith looked a little better and I never thought of it until you just said it, that, you know, maybe the purists are going to be a little, oh man, you know, they, yeah. they want just straight Legacy. So we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what the uh, feedback is and how Omita deals with said feedback because they they are very responsive to uh the community however at the end of the day you know it's their vision and it's um whatever is kind of i guess easiest for the game i don't know if it's a ease a question of ease or just looks or you know um fringe is a genius so if he has reasonings for it i'm sure they're good ones um and it'll be interesting to see how it turns out i honestly don't care i just want i just <laughs> I just want to play. I just want to play. <laughs> Devil Spawn? Um, I actually agree a lot with um, with you, Mongoose, on the fact that Monolith did look a little cleaner. 
Um, and um, I prefer raptors over black buff on how they looked. So um, I know the raptor was the like head person of the black buff, but I like how it was three of them and they looked they looked a lot. Cooler, so I like them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what kind of assets they were talking about too. Now that now that you yeah. say that, I don't right? know if it was like yeah. The, yeah. I'm assuming <laughs> okay. since we're talking fringe that it was actual map assets. Oh, uh, okay. So I don't know. We'll All have right. to see. We right. will have to see. Yeah. By the way, if I ever start like actually doing Twitch ever, I want my follower alert to be Twitch saying a thank you. I mean, fringe saying a thank you for the following. <laughs> for the following. <laughs> Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Twitch streams, uh, Smokey did a stream um, about the development of the Minion AI. So that's pretty cool. That's what we've been waiting on from them for a little while. And uh, he, he, you know, he brought up the game and he had the Minions interacting in there. Um, they need some work. Um, like they, 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 they had to completely reprogram the Minions to work with gas. So uh, right now the range minions aren't attacking anything, and the the melee minions are attacking each other, but they kind of get clumped up a little bit and look like they're humping each other or somewhat. <laughs> it, a bit of a clusterfuck in the middle, but uh, <laughs> at, at least they got them in there. They're 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 following their path. They're going the right direction. Um, there's just some minor tweaks and stuff, and I think they will be good to go. Um, Devil Spawn, any any thoughts? Any final thoughts on Meta Studios and predecessor? Um. Well, I'm most excited for them, like Paragon-wise, because it's a, it's what I feel closer to being completed of the two Paragon remakes than Core is. So I'm excited for Predecessor. I'm excited for all of them. So right yeah. on, Mandy. Anything about your about your baby, about your little baby Predecessor? <laughs> Y'all know I'm excited for Predecessor. I'm just <laughs> sitting here with all the patience in the world waiting on my baby (laughs) papa don't preach Um, (laughs) moving on we had nothing for meta buff this week and uh nothing for phoenix rising i have been i do talk to those guys a lot but but um once they have something substantial and concrete we can uh we'll, we'll highlight it on the show but until i have something that like i can if they say this is happening and i can show you that this is happening that's when i'll show you i'm not i'm not gonna tell you when they talked about it you know what i mean but in any case if you want to learn anything else about any of these games i'll have uh uh quite a few of their socials linked in the video description below including their discords which is probably the best way to find out information about these games and uh that's going to close it out for the news and updates let's move on to the poll results a hard fight on this one i've been doing I... the uh the most impactful <laughs> ultimate sort of uh bracket and it came down this week. It was Kalari versus Severog. And holy shit. Um, it ended up Kalari at 47%, Severog at 53%. It's by far the closest one we've had yet. And uh, yeah, a lot of people had some very hard opinions on who they thought should be the victor here. Um, this is one I didn't play much Kalari, I didn't play much Severog. Um, and both of their ultimates, I felt, were very impactful for the game. I thought Severogs had a lot of utility and could be used in a lot of different situations where it's, um, you know, I was talking, again, I was talking to Devil Spawn earlier, and, and Kalari's um, was nice because you could split push one lane and still show up for a team fight and usually show up for that team fight by eliminating a member of the enemy team. So, man, I really don't know which one. I, I didn't vote. I can't vote in these, and I'm glad I, this is the first time I'm glad I could not vote because I could not decide between Kalari or Severog for this one. Um, Devil Spawn, we were already talking about it a little bit. Go ahead and uh, let me know your thoughts here. Um, so I actually, when I voted, it was Ford B852 for Severog. <laughs> uh, so uh, it was very, very close. I voted Kalari because I think Kalari is a little bit more impactful with the split pushing uh, capability. Um, but again, one of my best friends, he was the primary jungler for Hardwired. So he loved Severog, like Severog was his main. Um, so I can definitely see the colossal blow there, uh, mm-hmm. for Severog. So I like both Kalari's a little bit more in my, my, uh, Mandy, who'd you vote for? And keep in mind that whoever you say 
Um, <laughs> half of the half of our community is going to dislike you. Is gonna okay. Well, uh, jokes on you. I didn't vote. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means all of our community is not going to like yeah, you. Yeah, that's probably true. Right. Um, yeah, no, this was one that I like. I was like hovering and then I'd hover over the other and then I was like, I'll come back to it later. And then I just never did because it was way too hard. It was hard for multiple reasons. One, because like you said, Goose, I didn't play either of these characters much. So I don't have a personal like attachment to one or I didn't get to experience that ultimate uh, working in my favor. Um, but man, this was just tough all around because... If it's characters that I don't have experience with, I'm like, okay, how messed up did I get by said ultimate? <laughs> and I got messed up by both of these. So it was really, really tough for me to decide. Yeah. Like I said, I didn't end up uh, voting. And I think this was close. This was de deservedly so close because they were both uh, excellent uh, uh, abilities. So yeah. it was yeah. a tough one. Right. Oh, well, it's uh, going down in the books, though. Severog wins. Yeah. We'll be moving on. I think next week is going to be Gideon and Steel. So, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so Severog so will be going, going up against one of those two. Yeah, it's getting good. <laughs> it's getting good. This started out kind that's of a, a boring poll, but it's starting to come that's to a... That's so hard. It's starting that's to come hard. to a head. It's, it's getting fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, we're going to move on now to the highlight reel. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it this week. And uh, like, if you um, if you want to submit your own highlights and you don't know how to get them uploaded or anything like that, uh, just look at last week's for the minions. I did a small video at the end of the highlight reel that shows you how to uh, upload your videos to Google Docs, and then you can send them to me as a link. But uh, yeah, enjoy the highlight reel. Speaking of colossal blow, we got Quasi here on Severog. Notices that his Murdoch is about to charge in here way deep on the enemy team by himself. But he uh, is getting there as fast as he can. Murdoch is about to get wrecked. But Severog comes in with that colossal blow and saves Murdoch from his own poor decisions. Nicely done by Quasi. The play doesn't have to be flashy to be good, right? Two teams squaring off here. Neither one really wants to overcommit to this fight. Blue team has their tower. To fight underneath. Looks like they're going to get pushed back. Maybe not. Belka overstepped her bounds a little bit as well as Wukong. He almost lost his life right there. Belka trying to fight back with the Void Bomb. Oh shit! Cryosism comes out of the fucking blue. Chimera gets knocked into the corner and taken down. Now the blue team are all extremely low. Wukong jumping in behind them as well as Yin picking people off and nice hoarfrost and that's just just out of the blue that's four members of the blue team down Gideon rotating in for a gank looks like he's going to try and cut him off at the pass they're going for the gold buff so he is going to stall them out pops the black hole but immediately gets interrupted nice job by the red team that ice wall though oh shit and then they get hit with the smash and grab double kill let's take another look at that Glacial card charge comes in, prevents the escape, followed by the smash and grab from the purple buffed Grux. Oh, it's only a double kill, but this play still makes me pop a Paragon boner. Freaking amazing. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the highlights this week, but for now, it's time for the topic for discussion. What we're going to be discussing this week is our favorite heroes from an aesthetic perspective, favorite heroes and skin, and our least favorite heroes and skin. So, Strictly by appearance, not by like how much we like their character or how much, you know, how good we thought they were. This is just strictly looks. We're being very shallow this week and it's going to be fun. <laughs> you guys are probably going to hate on us a little bit, but uh, let, you know, if you disagree with any of us, let me know in the comments below. We'll discuss it and uh, just, yeah. you know, try and try to keep it, uh, you know, positive. Professional. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on, and uh, I'm going to use Devil Spawn as a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, Which let him first? go first. Uh, are we doing? Let's, least uh, let's first do. Or let's do. Best first? Let's do favorite um, hero. Just base skin first. Base skin favorite hero. Uh, probably, um, probably Aurora because I really liked her kind of like half crystal, half. Um, like full dress and it really showed off like 
I want it's like she's the ice hero. So mm-hmm. it really showed it showed what she was before you even looked at the abilities. Right. Mm-hmm. It was designed that that's actually the one that I picked as well. It just it <laughs> It was beautifully done, like like right? you said that the the ice on the one side and just the dress, and it has nothing to do with her side cheek, although that was a bonus. <laughs> but a lot of her variants were very cool as well. So. Yeah, it just her her makeup yeah. is just very ice queenish, and her white hair just everything matched her kit and her character, and everything looked absolutely gorgeous. I just I think yeah, Aurora for me as well. Uh, who do you think, Mandy? I really tried to go outside of picking one of my favorite heroes that was to play, but I can't do it. It's Sparrow. Like, it's just Sparrow because she is what attracted me to the game. Her, like, literally, I saw a Snapchat. My friend sent me a Snapchat of her playing as Sparrow, and I said, who is that? What is that? I must play. So I feel like that has to be my answer. (laughs) It has to be Sparrow. Awesome. Um, just even her base skin, she her base skin me. is is real good. Yeah, she mm-hmm. attracted me to the game, so um, gonna gonna have to go with Sparrow. Right on. So <laughs> let's move on now to the uh, the least favorite base skin hero, Devil Spawn. Who do you got? Um, so I'm gonna do this. Basically, uh, I'm gonna say I hate scary movies, and um, Morgesh. Reminds me of like the conjuring demon thing <laughs> that comes at you. And I'm like, no, I can't play this champion. Even though Morgus was good like skill wise, I could I was like, I can't can't get past her, her looks. I just I can't do it. She was really well designed, but yeah, she was she was so she was well creepy designed. Looking. She was creepy she looking. Was. <laughs> I didn't even think of taking creepy. taking that into account. That's awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, Mandy. You were talking. Mine, my least favorite uh, is Zinx because I was really hyped for her and I felt oh, let down. Man. Yeah. Looks wise. I felt right. let down looks wise. I was like, oh, okay. Like, all right. There she is. Like, I wasn't like, <laughs> whoa, right. she looks aw-. like, I don't know. She could have been this badass cat woman hybrid they, and she was like. They could have picked like different colors for her. I, yeah, I don't know if it was colors. I don't know if it was the her, weird headdress thing. Her, yeah, her, the headdress? I didn't like the headdress. Yeah. And her face just looked derpy. Like, her face right? just yeah. looked derpy. Like, yeah. I don't know. In the in the trailer, like we were talking about last week, she looked insanely she, cool. Yeah, and then in she game, had a really cool... Yeah, so that's... I was just, I was just plain old disappointed when she came out. I was like... Meh, meh. <laughs> she was also one of the like first characters I think that was released without a skin. In uh, the wiki, she, she had, had a skin. She had she had a skin on release. Oh, she did. Um, all right, but it, know, it wasn't really a... much of a variance from her no. normal skin at all. Uh, it was to the point yeah. where it was almost unnoticeable. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe that's where you're getting that that it was just so... probably yeah yeah yeah. She had like a weird visor on that skin. Yes. Okay, I remember that now. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I always thought she looked a bit like Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh my gosh! Now that you say that, that's so true. Yeah. Yeah. That's I can. So I true. see it. I see it. So, who was your least favorite goose? You haven't said yet, have you? I have not. Um, okay. No. Oh, it kills me to. Oh. It kills me to call her out. Um, she was one of my favorite heroes. She was the very first hero I ever mastered. But Ooh. Decker, I. Oh, I thought Decker oh, was just know. very oh. basic bitch and oh, she's not so basic. all that interesting. And she oh. looked like she had a spacesuit on without the space helmet. Like, <laughs> what was that weird collar? Like collar yeah. thing? Yeah. yeah. Right? Is she yeah. from oh, fucking Long thing. Island with popping her collar? What yeah. the fuck was <laughs> it? You know yeah. who I thought you were going to say who I debated for my least favorite was the Faye. Really? I thought, yeah, I thought for a fairy they could have gone way more fantastical, Sweet. and she just looked mm. weird. Like she had uh-huh. weird petas, and like I don't know, it was <laughs> so she like had weird. What petas, man? Her <laughs> <Or> chichis. <laughs> um, so like you know, 
you know how I did Morgesh, uh, how basically it's a scary, like, from a scary movie. And then there's Faye, which is the exact opposite. Yeah. She's, like, all good and greens yeah. and all luscious colors. And I'm like, okay, you can be your old luscious uh, plants and everything. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's kind of interesting, though, in the lore, if you really look deep into the lore, Morgesh was kind of the good guy, and Faye was, like, the evil really? fucking, like, yes. Really? Yeah. I didn't delve into the lore that much. Okay. I didn't think there was that deep to go I with thought, the lore. Like, I <laughs> like, thought uh, Morgesh was the evil, like, she stabbed people, and Faye's like, no! No, like, the, the, Faye's, like the Faye was part of, like, kind of a colony or a hive. And um, she was the only one that was allowed to leave just because her curiosity was a little more than the others. But yeah, they didn't okay. care about human like life at all. It was all mm. about plant life, and they you know wouldn't hesitate to kill intruders and all this shit. And Morgesh like it was kind of created to try and stop them from fucking people oh. up. <laughs> so ah, yeah, all right, cool. Weird twist there. Weird twist. Interesting. Yeah, because just based on like colors alone it looks like she like morgesh was supposed to be evil yeah and Faye was supposed to, that's really cool that's interesting also i thought the Faye looked like ashley green <laughs> so favorite skin uh she played she was in oh. those stupid vampire movies i don't know who cares let's go on let's move on to um <laughs> the uh, favorite skin. So favorite skin, Devil Spawn. What, what was your favorite skin in the game? Uh, so my favorite skin was either the Royal Monastic Rogue Kalari with the it's the purple uh, Rogue Kalari, um, or the uh, Black Rogue Sparrow, which had the des it's the only one with the design on the back of the cape. Mm. So I really liked those two skins. They were like the first tier three skins that I bought. <laughs> those were the the like the way those robes flowed. Like yeah. that was that was some cool shit that Epic did, like programming wise. Like right. that was very awesome. The it did throw me off with Kalari because I didn't think she needed the cape because her like the elegance of her moves was like the cape yeah. like throws me off. But I was like, um, it works yeah. as you like get used to how she moves. Yeah, I kind of thought the same thing with Kalari that like the cape uh, didn't go with her. She looked so space age, and the cape felt medieval, and it was like man, hmm. they didn't they didn't mesh to me. Um, but that's just my... It's a good point. My thought. Thanks. Space people don't wear capes. <laughs> not, not, not any space people I've met. They, they have not been wearing capes. <laughs> What's your favorite, uh, favorite skin, Mandy? Man, everyone's gonna give me so much shit, but Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sparrow, Sparrow. I'm surprised Sparrow wasn't also your least favorite <laughs> for like some weird reason. I know. <laughs> Sparrow with the with the cape was she just it fit her so it oh she just looked amazing. Like um, her base skin brought me in and her that rogue skin was like just, kept you in. <laughs> yeah. Kept me in. I do have to say though, um, it's not my least favorite, but her Halloween skin is awful. I did I hated her makeup with the <laughs> Halloween cat skin. Oh, yeah. That was awful. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. oh Revenant's a uh, Revenant's up there though. Revenant has some pretty good skins too. Yeah. Yeah, Revenant I, I debated if I wanted to go outside my sparrow box <laughs> if I wanted to say Revenant, but I can't do it. It's what's in my heart. <laughs> Mine was Summer Fun Twin Blast. I love that skin. That oh, shit yes, was, that was such a good one. tits. <laughs> I mean, Which one's that one? Paragon at all. Y'all you remember he had squirt guns and he, he had, had like and he had a the Hawaiian shirt and nose. sunscreen on his nose. Swim trunks oh, and sandals. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. That was amazing. That was a good one. Either that or the uh, wife beater rampage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just needed a mustard stain on that fucker. Uh, yeah, he did. My my friend called one of the rampage uh, own it one of the rock skins. He called it uh, getting out the lobster 
because he was all uh, red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the red one. It's like, just bring out the lobster. lobster. Getting that lobster out. Oh, he my did gosh, have those funny. giant arms on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Let's move on now, though, to least favorite skin in the game. Devil Spawn, uh, what do you got? Everyone, I think everyone's going to hate me. Because it was, I think, their first tier three skin. Um, it was Doomsday Steel. I oh, you didn't hate, like that one, really? I hate the look of. Um, I hate how he's not metallic at all. They wanted to go like, I'm gonna do like a Greek type style. It looked more Greek and Spartan to me, and I was like, I hate it. Don't like it. Um, I did like how it changed the abilities, but I hated the look of the character. It does not look good from an aesthetic point of view. I just didn't like it. Hmm. I, 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 I enjoyed that skin. I really liked it. I like the whole Mayan thing. But yeah, I can see where it, where it, where it would turn you off. It did give me I had the, to Google it. I couldn't even arms. remember it. Oh, you you had to Google it. Like when you Google have it. the when you have the face, like when you're looking at Steel. To, it, it's like no no I don't like it I don't like you <laughs> uh, Mandy is yours so much a sparrow crap. skin or uh, no, well kind of but my <laughs> least favorite is all of the Halloween ones I was so oh, really? disappointed Halloween, in all like, of the Halloween ones Twin Lass's skeleton makeup face is just awful too a, probably my least favorite of all of them though Actually, I don't remember if this... No, it wasn't his Halloween skin. It was Murdoch's, uh, the lizard one. Really? Oh, Bio Bio Freak? Bio Freak? I didn't, yeah, Bio I didn't Freak, like it. No, I didn't like that one. That, really? Yeah, no, I didn't wasn't like into those that. Either. Yeah, but the, but the yeah. Halloween ones to me were so disappointing because you could have done so much and you just put freaking pumpkins on their head. and <laughs> That's uh, like, actually, like, for the longest time, that was Murdoch's, like, best skin. Murdoch's really? jack o' lantern skin, because it made him look like a badass. Because he had, yeah. the, he's just like, I have an orange, glowing, <laughs> black head. I, think I know you can aim I'm, at it, right? I'm so into Halloween. Like Halloween is my thing, so I like expect greatness, <laughs> and I you didn't get it. I was not wowed. I was the, not wowed. They did a much better job on the um, Christmas skins. Christmas. You can argue right. that. The, the Krampus Richter? skin from Richter, yeah. Was, yeah. Saint Rick was far scarier than any Halloween skin oh, they yeah. ever did. Yes. Um, and, and then, you know, like, old sweater Gadget. Gadget yes. was amazing, yes. That one was yes. wonderful, wonderful. And I hate Christmas, and it pains me that I enjoyed the Christmas <laughs> ones more than the, <laughs> was, more than the Halloween ones. That was actually Iggy's, one of Iggy's best skins it was his Christmas skin. Yeah. <laughs> Other that than, was, you know, his uh, metal, ter metallic, like, Mecha terror yeah. skin. Yeah. That was a cool one too. Grinch Mandy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I have a very strong stance on hating Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, didn't they do a fair didn't they do a Valentine's Day thing too? Where they had like howitzer has this they did big have some hard Valentine's case Day on. ones. Um Sarah's okay. Kind of stands out to me, her Valentine's oh. skin. Oh um, yeah. is that what the Decker pink ones one. were? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Crunches I liked. Yeah. His Valentine's Day skin. Um, you didn't expect him to get a Valentine's Day skin. Yeah, right? You didn't expect him to get a, like a skin at all after they <laughs> released his like, golden gloves and chrome dome skins. Yeah. <laughs> I think my least favorite, uh, I forget which one it was for Shimby. It was like, the only skin she got, but I didn't like it because it was the exact same thing as her regular skin. <laughs> like, um, Like, it didn't change her at all. Like, that, and I mean, there's a lot of that went on with Kwong too. It was like, oh, Kwong's finally getting a skin, and it was basically just another recolor. And I just yeah. Like, right, yeah. But it, it mainly pissed me off on Shimby because I really love Shimby, and I thought they could have done so much with skins for. Oh, Shimby. they could have done so oh, yeah. much for her, and um, they did not <laughs> at all. Right. So that's that's probably my least favorite skin is whatever fucking skin they gave Shimby. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, honorable mention for your girl phase over there is her panda skin where she has the panda backpack yeah oh, you uh, didn't like that one or you did no i love that one yeah oh, that one's a pretty good panda skin i liked her what was it called shadow links is that the oh where yeah. she's a cat 
Well, she's yeah, like I like that one. That was a good one. She looked yeah. more cat-like than Zinx. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. All right. Any, any closing any closing comments or statements on the uh, topic for discussion, guys? Uh, not really, no. I think I'm good. I'm right. waiting for the comments, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. They're going to be oh, good. Yeah. Go be sweet. Like, how could you forget this skin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you I like bet this skin? I bet they'll have some good ones. This skin sucked. You know what? You suck. That's going to be the real yeah. part. People. <laughs> <laughs> Or everyone's gonna be like, the Doomsday skin was so good. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can see that one because I thought it was great. I like the Doomsday, Doomsday skin. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let's move on to uh, to plugs. Uh, Devil Spawn, you got anything you want to plug? Um, not really. I mean, I just you know, if you ever see Devil Spawn zero nine one three, um, just shoot me a message. Uh, I play League. I play. Borderlands three that just came out. I play a whole bunch of games, and I probably have something that you that you play. So just hit me up. Right on. Cool. Mandy, anything to plug? Uh, just Twitch. I don't. No, <laughs> no, I have nothing to plug. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna plug Nicktana's latest premiere that he did, where he was playing Overcooked with his friends. Uh, if you guys don't know Nicktana. He did the artwork that's uh, I've been using as the end card. Um, the uh, the Sparrow Mandy and the goose, Bash Goose, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> and uh, he did this video with his friends playing Overcooked, and I was in tears. I was laughing so hard because they did not work well together. That is such <laughs> a teamwork focused game. <laughs> yeah, I was in stitches. So yeah, check out Nick Tata's video um, where he's playing Overcooked. Uh, that's I guess that's what I'll plug. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I don't really I couldn't think of a question, so I guess that's going to be it for for tonight. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the discussion. Like you know, leave those comments. You know, you know, be funny if you want to. Uh, just you know, keep it promote discussion. Don't just uh, don't, yeah, don't just attack people. <laughs> don't just be like devil spot is so awful his choices are bad <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh this is gonna be the four of the minions crew signing off you guys have a good one bye man goose you guys ready to get back into it yep ready ready pull this document up document huh what'd i say <laughs> I heard, I heard document. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did I say? <laughs> I'm like, I heard, I heard what you said. <laughs>